Science helps us answer the big questions, but science helps us answer the small and weird questions too. Since 1991, a special group of awards have been given to creative scientists testing the weirdest theories. Like, can you make a frog float? Do mosquitoes like cheese? Does a chicken think I'm cute? They're called the Ig Nobel Prizes, and they honor the strange and funny side of science. Let's talk about why they matter. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. The Ig Nobel Prize was established in 1991 to celebrate achievements that were weird, unique, and even trivial. Surprising discoveries that make you laugh and think. Like the regular Nobel Prize, they exist for physics, medicine, and chemistry. They also will mix it up and sometimes hand out Ig Nobel Prize categories like biology or dentistry. In 2024, a team won for finding evidence that some real plants imitate the shapes of neighboring artificial plastic plants. Apparently not even plants can escape being jealous of those around them. Dr. Elena Boudnar was awarded an Ig Nobel for an innovative bra that could be converted to a pair of protective face masks. So in an emergency like a smoky fire, you got a mask for yourself and one for a friend. In 2005, Gori Nanda won a prize for an alarm clock called Clocky, which runs away and hides from you. So you have to really get out of bed to shut it off. This would work for a lot of people, but I'd probably need a backup in case I smashed the first one with a hammer. In 2020, another team won the communication prize for studying the mental activities of people who are experts at speaking backwards. Hundreds of Ig Nobels have been handed out, like in 2009, when two guys won for discovering that dairy cows with names produce more milk than cows without names. Or like in 2003, when a team from Stockholm University was recognized for a paper that showed chickens prefer beautiful humans. No, really, the paper was called Chickens Prefer Beautiful Humans. And it turns out chickens like humans more if we're cute. Thank you for your support, chickens. <laughs> The scientists combined the features of 35 men and 35 women to create some average faces for each gender, then also digitally manipulated those photos to create hunkier pictures of women and men. Human subjects then rated all the photos for who they would want to go on a date with. Chickens were trained to peck on photos they liked more for a food reward, and they had almost the same preferences as the humans. If chickens weren't enough, eggs got some attention in 2015 when a team found a way to partially unboil an egg. When they're cooked, proteins in the egg whites get denatured, aka many of the protein bonds break and fold into different shapes. It's why the egg goes from translucent and liquidy to white and jiggly. This team created a device that spun the cooked eggs at a high speed, and the proteins refolded into their original shape. But while some of these studies seem silly, the cause of the Ig Nobel Prize is a noble one. It's a reminder that science can be creative and fun. It encourages scientists to be open to wild or unique ideas. And of course, a lot of these so-called trivial discoveries can help scientific advancement. Bart Knowles won a prize in 2006 for showing that a mosquito species that likes to snack on human feet were just as attracted to stinky Limburger cheese. Which seems silly, but mosquito-borne disease has always been among the deadliest afflictions humans face. Understanding how and why mosquitoes act the way they do could save millions of lives. Or like in 2002, when a duo won the Ig Nobel for a study that made a living frog float in the air using magnets. And don't worry, the frog was returned to the biology department unharmed. A floating frog is its own reward, but scientists in China are using similar technology to simulate a low gravity environment to test technology for future missions to the moon. And one of the guys that made the frog float won an actual Nobel Prize for his work on a carbon-based material known as graphene a few years later. So this guy has two prestigious science awards and at least one frog. He's living the dream. The Ig Nobel Prizes are a good reminder that in science and medicine, it's important to do your best, but don't forget to have fun out there, which is a good philosophy. Someone could do a show like that. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.